that because of the time and the innocence of the time and the naivete of the audience, you know, uh, when it has an impact on you at 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 years old, it stays with you forever. I know for me it's the same way. It's hard to allow people that have had that kind of an impact on you to move on and to be anything. People look at me still and they're going, I remember the first time I had you were up on my wall and I, all that. And I can see it going on because I've met, you know, hundreds of thousands of people. And, I'm going, mm -hmm. and now... Here I am. <laughs> this is really me. And once they get, it takes a few minutes sometimes, you know, and they go, oh, yeah, you really are this guy. Because I only really had this real strong impression of you being that guy. And mostly for me, that getting work that wasn't, hi, mom, can I borrow the keys of the bus? You know, it's hard to make that really live. <laughs> David Cassidy doing Shakespeare. <laughs> Mother, may I borrow the keys to the auto bus? It was it was hard to get people to look at my talent as opposed to the the other. But in the end, if you got it and you're determined enough and you have the will and you're fortunate enough to take advantage of any opportunity, I just decided not to try and compete with it. And I went back to work in the class and in the theater and just wrote songs and you know, it's because I was heard on a local on an LA radio station in nineteen eighty nine that I got a record deal for the first time in years. Um, really? And had a big hit. Yeah, well, I played some songs, some demos. Mark and Brian had just gone on the radio here. And I went on to their show and um, played some demos, and people heard it and went. I got three offers that morning from record companies as they were driving to work. Why did you move to Vegas? Because it's close to the work. Yeah. Work. I closed the day I closed in Blood Brothers. They flew the corporate jet and Terry Lanny who's the CEO and fantastic guy great person um, flew me to Las Vegas the day I closed I packed my bags they picked me up flew me to Vegas and I began reworking the effects because it was dying you know they were doing five shows a week they were doing selling like 250 tickets in a night and within six months we were doing 10 shows a week and 3,000 people a night so from a financial standpoint, it was a home run for them. And um, for me, it was a home run because of the platform I got and fans that came to see me from all over the world. And from there, you know, I, I mentioned I called my partner, Don Rio, and my very good friend, Don Rio, and he and I have always been into the live thing and uh, the whole Rat Pack era. And we wrote a play called The Rat Pack is Back and put up our own money and put it on, and it became a big hit. It was run there for three years. So it's been a great run. I mean, I did. I wrote another show that uh, I produced that I started in called At the Copa that I did for about 15 months. And the last year I've been out on tour where I hadn't been, I haven't done a, a concert tour in 10 years. And just going back and getting these songs that I recorded on the new CD has been, it's been such an unbelievable experience because the audience, I knew they wanted me to do that. And I also knew that there wouldn't probably be another time for me. Who knew? You know, am I going to get the opportunity to do this? Am I, my, is my career going to be at a level for this long to where there'll be offers for me to do it? Right. Because it's expensive to go out and play. You know, a lot of people go, oh, yeah. I mean, it, I took 16 people with me last year. That's a lot of folks. I took a horn section, singers, you know, crew, security. It was a lot, but it's worked really, really well. And um, from it has come this recording contract, and the, the CD has just been out in the UK, and just two weeks ago I got a platinum CD on Top 5. Yeah, so it's out this week <laughs> in the U.S., and um, it's already doing well. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Chris. David Enjoy Cassidy. It's sessions at AOL and Chris Doritas. Best of luck with the rest of the tour. Thank